welcome back to the channel please like and subscribe you know to get this to get this information out I want to talk about uh, the situation that a lot of truckers be in where your channel your channels on slide this is specifically for a uh, the air system tandems where you have to pull that little round pin out and that's going to uh, <clears throat> unlock your it's going to push your locking pins in your four locking pins in so that you'll be able to slide your uh, trailer or your tandems uh, a situation like this usually happens where you can't slide your tandems in that air valve system because the forklift so heavy when you're getting loaded or unloaded that it pushes all the air out of the uh, of the tanks so I've seen a couple other videos on YouTube about this I'm going to I'm going to put up a picture too of the exact type of uh, mechanical tandem that I'm talking about because there's as far as I know there's two types but anyway the only way that I found that works is you have to get you have to drive so if your shipper or receiver has a pretty big lot, you could drive a drive around for I say like five minutes. You know, do just do a couple circles or drive straight. You want to get your RPMs up, probably like 25 miles per hour, uh, probably 10 miles per hour to work. But you need to do it for like five minutes, and then try again because. You know, if you if your tandem's not moving and you steadily trying to move them, okay, you're going to ruin your tires. You're going to cost yourself or your company money. So that's really the main reason that I put this video out. I want to put this video out is because the other videos that I saw on YouTube they they didn't work for me. They might they might work for you, but uh. I don't think that they will, uh, I think they'll make you lose money. Because they're going to mess up your tires. Because that the methods I saw, they're not, they don't believe they're going to work every time. But, yeah, if you don't have a scale house, if they're, if your uh, shipper or receiver doesn't have a big yard, so you can, you know, drive up to 10 miles per hour or 20 miles per hour to get that air back there, what you want to do if you don't have a scale house near or in between you and your nearest truck stop because a ride to the truck stop that would be good enough uh to get get the air back there i know from experience that that if about like five miles away that's that's definitely going to be able to uh allow you to get air back there so you that you can slide your tandems after you get there but the reason I say about a scale house, because what if you're empty or if you're loaded? But if you're empty, the scale house, why would the scale house mess with you? Uh, in some states, I know for sure Florida, you can get a ticket from DOT at the scale house for your tandems being too far back. Like, I, I just learned that this year. That I know that pretty much, uh, I think that everyone knows, like, or a lot of CDL drivers know that if they're too close, if your tandems are too close, that's definitely where you, they definitely teach you that that can get you a ticket in states like California and stuff like that. I believe California is also one of those states if they're too far back, you can get a ticket too. But yeah, if you have that air valve system on your tandems and you can't, there, there's, there's not enough air in there. So when you pull that pin, all your locking pins don't go in. Uh, it's no air release. You don't hear a, a hissing sound or anything like that. That means that you need to drive. That's, that's going to be the best way, the most cost effective way for you to be able to slide your tandems. Okay. Let's say you were in a city where you got a lot of traffic or a very small truck stop nearby you and you can't really pull up in there and slide your tandems. I mean, you should be able to do that. 
to pull up in there and just, you know, put your four-way flashes on and slide your tandems right there. I'm pretty sure uh, the other truck drivers, if it's a tight, packed type of truck stop, like, you know, in the upper east, eastern U.S., where it, it's not a lot of space, not a lot of parking, you should be able to stop there and possibly, you know, stop traffic in the truck stop. I mean, I wouldn't recommend that, but if you really need to slide your tandems, uh, four-way flashes on, and then after you drive from that ship or receiver, you're, I mean, you're going to have enough air to slide your tandems. Okay, and this, it doesn't matter about the months either, about the season either. This can happen where that air is leaks out. This can happen in the winter, summer, spring. It doesn't really matter, but... Like I said, I'm going to put a picture up to let you see exactly what I'm talking about. That mechanism of tandems, trailer tandems. I've drove with this mechanism on dry vans and reefer trailers, refrigerated trailers. But if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Thank you for watching the video. Like and subscribe to the channel. Till next time.